In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. I welcome to this Mass on the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. Uh, personally, I'm offering this Mass uh, for my dad on his birthday today. Uh, it's just a shame I can't uh, drive over to be with him. Uh, but of your charity, and I'm sure the whole world joins uh, in this celebration today for the World Day for the Sick. Uh, we offer this Mass especially, therefore, for all those suffering from COVID, but all those other medical conditions that perhaps aren't getting the attention they need at the moment because of the pandemic. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christe eleison, Christe eleison. You are the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate. So from the soil the Lord God fashioned all the wild beasts and all the birds of heaven. These he brought to the man to see what he would call them. Each one was to bear the name the man would give it. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of heaven, and all the wild beasts. But no helpmate suitable for man was found for him. So the Lord God made the man full, fall into a deep sleep. And while he slept, he took one of his ribs and enclosed it in flesh. The Lord God built the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. The man exclaimed, This at last is bone from my bones, and flesh from my flesh. This is to be called woman, for this was taken from man. This is why a man leaves his father and mother, and joins himself to his wife, and they become one body. Now both of them were naked, the man and his wife, but they felt no shame in front of each other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O blessed are those who fear the Lord. O blessed are those who fear the Lord. O blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labour of your hand you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. O blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. O blessed are those who fear the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. O blessed are those who fear the Lord. The Lord 
Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left Gennesaret and set out for the territory of Tyre. There he went into a house and did not want anyone to know he was there, but he could not pass unrecognised. A woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him straight away and came and fell at his feet. Now the woman was a pagan, by birth a Syrophoenician, and she begged him to cast the devil out of her daughter. And he said to her, the children should be fed first, because it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the house dogs. But she spoke up. Ah, yes, she said, but the house dogs under the table can eat the children's scraps. And he said to her, For saying this, you may go home happy. The devil has gone out of your daughter. So she went off to her home and found the child lying on the bed, and the devil gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we honour the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice made by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to appraise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to our sins you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the offer of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenius uncelli a terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings of a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation of the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, night, and peace. To us also that your servants, who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, for whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O Lord Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Preceptus salutaribus moneti, et divina restitutione formati, alde hemus dihicare, pater nostra qui es in celis, sanctifice tua nomen tuum, ad venia pregnum tuum, Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panam nostrum quotidianum, da nobis hodie, et dignite nobis debita nostra, sicut ad nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducat in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On your stay, tones peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, tones peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. There is a public mass today in St Mary Magdalene. It's this evening. It's 6.45pm here in St Mary Magdalene Church. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs>